Hey all, welcome back. Um, today we're going to have a look at the Alfred's Advanced Tool Chest and Top Box. Um, so we'll just have a look around it, I'll give you my thoughts, let you know what I think of it. Might end up wanting to buy one at some point. Um, I'm going to do it in a couple of parts though, because I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of a tour around it. Um, and then I've got a lot of the modular tray sets that fit in it, so I'll do a separate video on them. Um, let you know what I think of them as well. So, bear with me. Right, so here it is. It's uh, fairly well built. Um, it went for the uh, advanced because uh, slightly better quality um, got soft closed drawers um, for the money I, I don't think you could probably get one as good for what price range these are in um, I mean if you wanted to spend a couple of hundred quid more then obviously you, you'll be able to get something a bit better um so start with top obviously don't come with that sticker on i put that on separately um you've got two keys for each um they are different keys so top one way open bottom one which is a bit of a shame but that's how it is um would have been nice to see a bit of an handle on here um i mean it's not difficult to open but so uh, would still be nice considering just maybe getting a spanner a spare spanner just welding some nuts on it some bolts on it and bolting it on there i think that should uh, make it look all right so um if we move around got your heavy duty handles on your top box there's no top bottom if we come around this side I've left all my uh, rubbish on there we've got your handle on your bottom one to drag it around wheels are fairly good we've got a locking mechanism on that on these two wheels so, so this is my uh, junk drawer i think everyone has one um it does come with inlays in for all the drawers um as you can tell it, it is uh, soft close um now i do find sometimes i don't know if you can see this but This draw, sometimes it just it it just don't seat right, and I find it happens with quite a few of these draws. Um, so sometimes, I mean, it's all right now, but it is something just to bear in mind. Sometimes they don't it's, don't know what it is. But these are just all my uh, junk drawers at the top. And then <clears throat> here we get to modular tray sets. Now, as you can see, they fit in there quite nicely. Um, now, if I just show you, this bottom drawer is your deepest one. Uh, probably about 50 mil or something like that. These look a bit shallower. Now, if I just uh, 
try and get one of these boxes out. Just a second. Bear with me. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you see, these are the uh, old stuff. I think they've, they've changed these now. So they've actually brought out five new modular tray sets. I'll just, uh, this is one of them, and um, as you can see, it's all foam, it's much thinner. Um, but the reason I'm saying this is because. Uh, in these these top drawers here, um, the ones that are a bit thinner. If if I uh, just take these bits out, and I'll show you what I mean. It's, it is a little bit annoying. Um, <coughs> uh, it is only with the uh, the hard plastic cases with these ones. The other, the new type, uh, type should be alright, but that's not doing it now. <laughs> right, let's try it this way. Right, it actually scrapes on the top drawer, which is really annoying. Um, now, if I take this out. That cures that problem. So, just saying, it's it's it is an issue, but it isn't. Um, so, like I said, for the uh, for the new new style ones that are a lot thinner, that's not going to be a problem. So. I will probably start putting some of them ones in the top. Um, so I'll just put these spanners back in here. See, there is a bit of wiggle room. You can see that. So, what sort of gap you've got, a bit of play, so they all rattle about a little bit. Um, so moving on to the bottom, these are all deeper drawers, so not an issue with these. Um, as you can see, I've got my three quarter, uh, no, three eighths, quarter. And all these are three eighths, and then we've got the half inch, half inch impacts, extension bars. Yeah, I don't really need to tell you what they are. You can clearly see. Uh, and then move down to another. Randomer, There's a few nail guns and what have you in there. So, so. but the back here, I don't know if I can uh, try and squeeze you in there. There is a place for your plug to go through, one at that side, one at that side, nice uh, gas struts on it, lifts it up easy enough, um, now the lock, I'll just show you, show you keys, the lock here, it is a bit, a bit flimsy 
can't see you know it's not exactly going to stop anyone from getting in if they want to get in but you know it's it does it's got a slide that goes down back which just locks them all i reckon if you give give them a good tug on then they would open i think it would just uh, break the locking mechanism to be honest with you um so i think i've had this i think i got it december 2019 um uh, offer going i think it was like 350 quid for for bottom and top can't quite remember now um but which is not too bad to be honest I think could probably do with I know you you can buy a a set a three draw centre section that fits underneath that top one. Um but then you end up with your toolbox just like this sort of eye. You know, it makes it a bit awkward to put stuff in top. Um you also get some uh, side attachments for it. I think one one is like a three draw system and then a, a cupboard that can fit on the other side. Uh, might look into them at some point. Um, but if I just, uh, this one, the uh, sealy, if you compare the drawers on this, I think that does this has obviously not got the soft close feature on it so i mean and then it does they do feel a bit they're not brilliant but they're not bad there is a bit of a wobble on them you know they don't feel like really good quality um, I don't think the toolboxes come with a lifetime warranty on them I think there's only a couple of years on them uh, unlike all all the tools all these these all come with a lifetime warranty which is pretty good and, and they're affordable you know especially if you've got a trade card um, more a lot of these I got when they were on offer, um, like these flex heads. Um, they were, well, to be honest, they were massively reduced. I think I paid twenty two quid for that set, um, which I wasn't intending on buying them. It's just I saw what price was, what they'd gone down to, and uh, I just couldn't resist, so I had to buy them. Um, so yeah. But we'll we'll uh, make another video on the uh, on the modular tray sets after this one. Right, well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this kind of gives you an idea if you're looking at buying one. You know what to expect when you get it. Um, it's it's nice to have. All the uh, modular tray sets. There's, I mean, you must admit, there's just something satisfying about having a nice, well-maintained box to put your tool in. So it's uh, it makes sure whenever you use your tool, just get a good clean after, and it's ready for the next time. So if you enjoyed the video, like I said, I'll be doing uh, a review on the modular tray sets at some point soon. So just subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.